So what would you advise anybody who is thinking about starting their own business? Starting a business is one of the most exciting, fulfilling, and difficult things you will ever do in your life. And so, three things I would say to someone who is contemplating it is first, make sure that your life is in order. Because what you're about to experience over the next few months to years after starting uh, your business, it's very likely to put stress on every single aspect. So make sure your, your uh, husband or wife, your children, uh, close friends um, understand that you're in this for the long haul. Well, starting any enterprise or any organization is not easy, <laughs> and so my advice is to surround yourself with people that inspire you, motivate you, and actually cheer you on, encourage you to keep going, and to actually make what your dream is um, a reality. Um, so I think that the first thing is just to find those people and keep yourself close to them and make sure you always have um, them to support you. Surround yourself with those who truly believe in your uh, idea and your mission and those who are still skeptical. Because sometimes when you're passionate about an idea, you lose track of um, reality sometimes. And you need someone to keep you aware of uh, the market, um, your uh, product and your idea. My <laughs> advice to anyone who is starting a business is to really look into one's network. So you need to have people who are going to support you, people who have ideas, um, and people who can help you get to uh, the next uh, the next steps and the next uh, places that you need to go to. So my answer is make sure you have a good network. If you're considering starting a business, the first thing I would recommend doing is talking to your customers and asking what their pain points are and figure out how you can solve it. So if you want to start a business, uh, I will give you two advices. So the first one is to uh, be with people that share the same principle, values and ideas uh, as you. So uh, you need to don't do it alone. and. It's better for you to go to events or to workshops to meet people that have the same idea. Uh, same idea. So it's the first advice. For the second advice, it would be uh, take risk and disobey when you have to do it because otherwise you won't do anything. So if you have to break the rules to try and to see if you have an impact, do it. My first advice if you start your business will be to really be well surrounded by your family, by your friends, and maybe your co-founders. It was really important for me because <clears throat> it's such a big adventure and you will face a lot of obstacles, so really, really to be surrounded by great people who will inspire you or will just support you, it would be great. My third advice would be to not be afraid of failures. Uh, when, you are in, when you want to become an entrepreneur, you have to take risks and you sometimes going to lose or going to uh, fail, so be prepared, and at the end you'll be happy because it's always a success. Uh, I think what is more important is to find an incubator, thus they will support uh, you and give you some like basic advices to start and launch your business. The thing you're going to need to have is self-love, patience with yourself, the willingness to have moments of doubt and to persevere through it, to See, everything that you thought was going to happen, not happen for 10 times longer than you expected. And if you're willing and able to continue to have faith in yourself, be open to ideas and to feedback with no ego into it, so that you're able to constantly grow throughout the process, and both personally and to have your business idea and business venture. I would really advise that you make sure that along with the passion and the idea, you also have discipline. Because uh, when you're running a business, there's going to be parts of it that you love doing, but there's also going to be parts of it that you hate doing. So um, you have to make sure that you cover all, or at least have somebody help you who can. 
and also try to start small like the lean startup model and have a test year um, to see how it's going don't risk everything grow incrementally if you can um, just so that you're not out on the street if it doesn't work out anyone thinking of starting a business um, <laughs> fasten your seatbelts um, and understand that it's a long journey and it is not a direct one for anyone who's thinking about it i would say just do it um, somebody asked me, like, when did you know it was the right time? I think there is no right time. Well, the right time is always. You just have to, if you're passionate about something, just do it. So I would, actually, uh, I will answer it answering the question, right? Yeah. Okay. So tell me when you're ready. No. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Being an entrepreneur is lonely. <laughs> it is. So when you're in business, 